the Take Along Thomas and Friends show. Subscribe, thumbs up, and comment for more episodes. One day, Henry, Gordon, and James were in the sheds. They were sick. They had heavy boiler aches, and they could barely move. This caused confusion and delay. As Sir Topham had, the owner of the railway was losing money, and no one could take the express, do heavy goods work, or both. And so, so, and so he went in his office to see who went in. Once he did, he figured out that Charlie was an, was an open engine, and he was ready to do any work. So Sir Topham Hatt went to go see Charlie. When Sir Topham Hatt reached Charlie in the sighting, he told him about the news. So, so Charlie, do you think you can do this work? Well, sure, right away, sir. And so Charlie, dri Charlie's driving fireman, had pumped coal into his firebox. He pumped his pistons, and he was ready for takeoff. And, and now, Charlie, what your first job to do is take Gordon's Express, and then take Henry's goods train, and just repeat, because that's probably, because there's probably going to be more. Right away, sir. And so Charlie was ready. He pumped his pistons, and he puffed off. Whoa, whoa! And so Charlie puffed off. When Charlie reached Gordon's Express, he saw it. It was three coaches filled with passengers. Charlie was ready, and he and he backed up. He was coupled up, and he was ready for takeoff. Charlie was not used to pulling coaches or even the express. So once he took off, it gave a big shook. <laughs> Careful, said his driver. You can't do this to the express coaches or you'll break them. Okay, sir. And this time, Charlie went off slowly and eventually the ride went smoothly. Peep, peep, said Charlie, and he puffed away. <laughs> And for weeks, thanks to Charlie being a big help, work went by fast, and Char and work got done. So Topham had regained money and respect for his railroad. Peep, peep. Peep, peep. He whistled. One day, when it was time for Charlie to take another goods train, he was tired. For the past weeks, he's been doing nonstop work. He wanted to have some fun because he was really tired, exhausted, and very angry because it was the same thing over and over again. And so, this, so, and then Charlie got an idea. Okay, trucks, on the top of, on the top of Gordon's Hill, I want you to biff me as hard as you can. <laughs> the trucks really liked this idea. And so Charlie started off. Trucks were really starting to put up a fight. Charlie kept on fake trying, and the trucks kept really trying. And then, eventually, when when they went to the top of Gordon Hill, they went so fast that the, the, the coupling with Charlie had snapped. Charlie, ah, yo, Charlie. He rushed up and, and splashed into a puddle of water. Blub, 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 said Charlie. Help me, said Charlie as he muttered in the cold water. The tricks were happy with what they'd done, and they, and they wanted to do this again, but they couldn't. After Tom Hatt's office, they, he had gotten the phone call, and so he... Sent for, he sent for Percy to help at once. Sent for Percy to help Charlie at once. Wait. And soon Percy had eventually came with the breakdown train. But first he had to clear away the trucks so that so they wouldn't get in his way. So Percy got unhooked and got ready to get the trucks. Pee pee. So he backed up to get onto another line. Percy had cleared away the trucks and put them on a different line for now. And he was ready to help Charlie. Pee pee. So he coupled up to the breakdown crane and went for Charlie. And 
And soon the breakdown train went in precision and went to work. And eventually, Charlie was freed from the water. Thank you, Percy. It was so cold in there. It's okay, Charlie. Now we have to get back to so you can deliver your load. Thank you. Let's go get the trucks. You're, you're right. <laughs> Eventually, Percy and Charlie had made it to where they needed... Charlie made it where he needed to go, to the docks, to where he could deliver the goods train. Sir Topham Hatt and Thomas were there, too. Sir Topham Hatt was crossed, though. Charlie, I thought I could trust you. Now I can't. You had to go around and screw around with the trucks and give some kind of game. I don't want to lose my monies. I need my monies. I'm sorry, sir. It's just this load was so boring. No sorries, no excuses. I just can't trust you anymore, Charlie. N until you can show me that you are really trustworthy, this you can't do any. You can't replace an engine right now. Huh? Sorry, Charlie. You shouldn't have been screwing around. I agree with Percy, Charlie. Sorry about that, but don't you shouldn't know to do that next time. Yeah. Eventually, Sir Topham Hatt went back to the sh Sir Topham Hatt went back to the sheds to speak to the engines. Hi, engines. I I try to trust Charlie to do your work for a few weeks, but it just didn't work out. It turns out he isn't trustworthy. Do you think you guys could go back to doing your work now? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Especially since we aren't sick anymore. We feel a lot better. Good thing, because I don't want to lose my monies. And Charlie just isn't trustworthy anymore. But that's the end of our story for today. Charlie learned a lesson to not mess around with the trucks. And the engines can go around to doing their normal jobs again. And it was a very happy day on the island of Sodor. Th Thomas Fan 369's credit, written by me, Thomas Fan 369, voiced by Thomas Fan 369 and my brother, well, not this episode, but the movie especially, edited by me, Thomas Fan 369, filmed by me, Thomas Fan 369. The equipment I use for this is a Canon 57X zoom camcorder, like the one I'm using right now. Take along trains, track, many trees. I bought them from a Michael's Arts and Crafts store. Editing software that I use for this is iMovie. It requires an Apple computer, though. Thanks for watching. Like, like comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more episodes. Smiley face.